Hello, I'm Crystal. It's 1.24pm on Wednesday the 15th of October. I've just come back from the Chatham Library. Primark, all the charity shops down Char uh, Chatham High Street, including Shelter, Sue Ryder, Oxfam and several others. Um, I've also been to Tesco's. Um, let's have a quick flick through the Star newspaper. On the front, Maddie, Rick Pedo, arrested. Perv was in the Algarve in 2007. There's a woman on benefits, 4,000 gifts at Christmas her children are getting. And she's got 11 kids. And she's going to spend £4 already saved for their Christmas presents. Um... A terror plot to blow up Blair and Cheryl. There. Um, more about the Sponger Mum. Uh, Oscar Pistorius. Uh, Keisha in rape claims. And of course the Ebola is on the news as well. Travellers from Africa branded British screening for deadly Ebola. A joke as it began yesterday. Um, just flicking through. Nigella Lawson's back with attitude. To Lisa admits to a, cr a girl crush. Um, that's the paper. My post today. Uh, RSPCA. Uh, a picture of the dog on the front of the envelope. There was. Um, there's a calendar. There's a little tabby kitten on the front. And a deer on the back. I have some stickers. I'm helping rescue animals like Brooke this Christmas. Um, and I had a £10 gift card from Sainsbury's with strawberries on the front. Uh, thank you for your response and for the further information you have provided. And that because there was gristle in my sausage rolls, I've been given a £10 gift card, which will take 40 hours, 8 hours to become active. Um, I just want to have a quick moan about service and some of the counters in Chatham. Um, in Primark, I was treated absolutely disgustingly by this woman serving at the counter. Um, no good morning. No, would you like your coat hangers? Just rip the clothes off the hangers, stuff them in the bag, and why don't you? Um, and then she looked at me while I was shocked as to why she was behaving in this manner. She didn't have a name badge on. The badge was turned round so I couldn't see it and I wonder why. Um, I'd gone in there to look for clothes for a wedding on Saturday. And I must be a huge elephant because everything I liked in pastel and aqua was in size 6 and 8. And it's always the case when I'm looking for clothes and I was asked my dress size on the phone recently by a young chap and I said I was a 14 to 16 and I'm, I'm, I'm just it's just so many coincidences it's unbelievable there's a woman in right card that looks at me it looks at me funny when I go in there for punch balloons I mean I will keep them in business for punch balloons they should be grateful she's a snooty so-and-so sticking her nose up um, and just really some really bad uh, customer service like chat to your mate for 20 minutes why don't you and I'll just stand here like a lemon um, so I was really really cross outside but I kept it in I wanted to scream but I couldn't because you have to hold yourself together there is so much rudeness and blowing smoke in someone's face is absolutely disgusting A vile behavior spitting on the street Spitting chewing gum out and just 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 pushing past as if they're the only people in the world and you are not even there. I mean today has been appalling. It's been a great day for a diary, but I feel I feel exhausted. I feel miserable. I feel angry. And why do people do this?